The thing that I think concerns all of us is how long it takes to get those technologies to the warfighter, how long it takes to go from lab to, to the fleet, and how convoluted the acquisition um, process is. I mean, I, I, took, um, I took a chart to hearings last year that showed the steps you've got to go through to get a, an acquisition program through. It looked like a plate of spaghetti. Um, you just have to, it, it takes years. And so trying to figure out how to do this faster, and we're doing things like rapid prototyping, which is before you start a multi-year, multi-billion dollar program of record, you've got a prototype of a, of a system, weapon, whatever, that, that you've done the, the initial testing on, you, you believe the technology works, get it out to the fleet and see in real world conditions what are the issues, what are the problems. And so you succeed quicker or you fail quicker. If it's not gonna work, you haven't gone down this, this long line. Um, Congress helped last year by putting the service chiefs much more in the acquisition process. These are the customers, and they were taken out. They were held accountable when something didn't work, but they, they weren't included enough in the requirements end of, of, of the process, and, and, and that's on its way to being fixed. But I think the, the question is, regardless of what the technology is, how do we get it there quicker?